Turn me up. Jeezy has one of the most magical qualities. I said I see some ladies in here tonight. I might marry her. Going off the bell, we in Tron is too scary. That nobody since Pac sold the streets up like Young when he came through. It was someone who was speaking the language of the streets, and they spoke it with so much authenticity and, and, and so much passion that you can't fake it. I remember fucking a lot of performances. Done a lot of performances with Jeezy on different uh, on different award shows, and uh, I guess about three years ago, he decided that he wanted to do another documentary. He had done one for Trap or Die, and he was like, "Now it's time for me to do another one and tell my whole story." So we sat down. He told it to me, and um, we knew right away that 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 it was a movie. Get a nun of y'all, so you know my aim good. Watch the things that they went through. I always understood that my mom was like untamed. He wanted her to be a good girl. She was just from the fuck over. My mama used to talk to me in such a way, like she made me a man. It was all in the details and the way someone tells a story and the way someone's uh, emotion is when they're talking about these things lets you know they're closer than someone who's just visiting the topic. In my eyes, Jeezy's already a superstar and um, I could only be grateful. Really? He really exposes himself. He really exposes the, uh, you know, the 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 things that he's overcame that he never talked about before. The you know the the Bell's palsy or the polyps or just the you know growing up in a trailer and the the family issues, the mother and the you know just so many things, so many challenges that he's faced that he's overcome that he's never really directly spoke about in his music. I think if you connect the dots, you can see where he was referencing things, but I think this is the first time that he's just really laid it out. It's rap shit. I don't do rap beef. That's for rappers, my nigga. Def Jam, Def Jam's putting it out with the album. There's a deluxe package. You can buy the album and you can buy the 90. So even if you saw the MTV, uh, MTV2 version, there's so much that you didn't get to see. So you should definitely check out the 90 minute because it really tells the, uh, the full story.